And on to a Fox 16 News update. Little Rock police still investigating three shootings that happened close together this weekend. Early Sunday morning, a person driving down Colonel Glenn was hit. Then on Sunday night, a woman was grazed by a bullet driving down Asher and University. Shortly after that shooting, seven people were shot on Washington Street and two people were killed. So when you look at the total... Okay, yeah, these are... <laughs> These are different than the ones we covered the other day. <laughs> These are fresh shoes. When you look at the total numbers for the weekend, nine people were shot, two of them dead. And tonight, a woman who was grazed by a bullet, she's talking to Fox 16. Yeah, her car was also hit near the intersection of University and Asher Avenues. Our Riley Birdwell met with her. She joins us now live with her story. And Riley, first things first, glad to know she only had minor right. injuries. The woman has asked not to be identified, so her... Her face will be covered and her voice will be distorted for uh, concern for her safety. But she tells me that it all happened so fast and it wasn't until her car notified her that her tire pressure was low and her right arm or left arm began to burn that she noticed that her car had been struck with bullets. Yeah, it is scary. I don't wish this on nobody. It was a normal drive home. That's the system, man. You can't. It ain't, you it can't ain't, much, it ain't too much to hide her voice. Everyone knows that this is a system, man. Home for one woman stopped at the intersection of Asher Avenue and University when everything changed. My car had notified me and said that the tire was low or whatever. So I pulled over and when I pulled over, I seen that my window was shot and I had multiple shoot shots. It was traumatizing and scary. I, I ain't never seen that like that well. I never, I seen people getting shot and stuff, but not my own car. Thank you for not lying. Sister was about to tell a whole lie. <laughs> you a sister in Blackestan. We know you. This is normal for you. The tire was low or whatever. So I pulled over. And when I pulled over, I seen that my window was shot and I had multiple shoot shots. It was traumatizing and scary. I, I ain't never seen that like that. Well, I never, I seen people getting shot and stuff, but not my own car and stuff like that, no. That's when the adrenaline wore off and she started to notice pain in her left arm. I just felt some burning and then I just see a little bit of blood. I'm like, dang, what happened? And then I looked at the window. I'm like, oh my gosh, the car is shot. I got grazed. It was like scary, so scary. According to the That's police report, her three-year-old right? was in the car with her, but was not harmed. I'm blessed. I'm still here. My baby's still here because it could have been worse. Than we could have both been here or anything. And she says now this makes her fearful to drive anywhere and that this could have been anyone. It could be anybody. It could have been anybody in my shoes.